Welcome, everybody. My name is Reverend John Forbes, and it is my honor to be with you today as we celebrate the love that is present between these two beautiful people. We gather today on the traditional lands of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabeg people. And we give thanks for everyone that has come together at this time and place. For the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, we have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Jeffrey and Patricia and to rejoice with them. We remember, of course, that marriage is a gift of God and a means of his grace in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife, you give yourselves to each other in love and that you grow together and be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. For the union of two individuals, man and woman in heart, body and mind is intended for your mutual comfort and for help that you may know each other with delight and tenderness in acts of love, and that you may be blessed in the care and upbringing of children. In marriage, a husband and wife give themselves to each other to care for each other in good times and in bad. They are linked to each other's families, and they begin a new life together in the community. Here's the awkward part. If anyone present knows a reason why Jeff and Patty may not lawfully marry, they must declare it now. <laughs> Jeff, Patty, if either of you know a reason why you may not lawfully marry, then this will be the shortest day. <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> We've come together to witness uh, the marriage of these two individuals, and it is true, we bring the whole community together. So take a quick second and look around, because these are the people that care for you, and love you, and will support you, no matter what goes on. And I'm gonna hold you to that, but you two are the ones making the vows today. You two are the ones who are declaring your love, the love that God has given to us. You're declaring it to each other in the presence of this community. Jeff, will you give yourself to Patty to be her husband, to love her, to comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others to be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? I will. Let's try that again. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Patty, will you give yourself to Jeff to be his wife, to love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I will. I, Jeff, take you, Patty, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. And this is my solemn vow. I, Patty, take you, Jeff, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Patty, I give you this ring. Patty, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you in the name of God. I honor you in the name of God. Jeff, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you in the name of God. I honor you in the name of God. 
I now pronounce you man and wife.